Have you checked out Perplexity AI yet? For me, it is one of the most powerful research tools out there that is even better than Google. And I'm not the only one who thinks this way. Even Jeff Bezos, the Amazon founder, is a fan and has invested in it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the top features of Perplexity AI and how to use it to boost your productivity and save you tons and tons of time researching. All right, let's dive in. So what exactly is Perplexity AI? Well, you can think of it as Google plus ChatGPT. It is a conversational search engine powered by advanced AI models. Some people like to compare it to ChatGPT, but for me, it should be used more like a new Google. Let me explain. With traditional search engines like Google, you enter your keywords and go through the top results to find your answer. With Perplexity AI, however, you simply ask a question and it instantly provides a clear and concise answer. It will gather information from reliable sources, summarize it, and even cites where it comes from. It is like having an assistant doing the heavy lifting for you and deliver only the most relevant information to you. Here, let me show you how it works. If I wanted to find out what are the best strategies for managing personal finance on a tight budget, if you search on Google, you will need to go through all these financial blogs, articles, forums, and you have to compare different strategies by yourself. On the other hand, if you search in perplexity, it will provide a summary of top personal finance strategies from multiple sources and even suggest related questions if you want to dig deeper. So now do you see the difference? And all of this you can achieve for free. And of course, there is a pro version and I'll go into more details later. But all of I just showed you, you can use with the free version. Okay, so whenever you want to look for something, simply click on new thread. And when you click on new thread, you will find that you have the below options. You have all academic, math, writing, video, and social. And this is the focus search feature, which allows to select the source that you want. So for example, if I'm looking for info about the role of sleep in memory consolidation, so something academic, maybe something for my research paper or my thesis, then I can select academic. And within seconds, it will just summarize the info you need in a clear and concise way and give you a direct answer. And I just wish this tool existed when I was still a student because this will save me so much time going through paper after paper just to find that specific like element or something to support my thesis. I don't notice something though that sometimes it will just forget to give the citations or sources in academic mode. So sometimes I just use all instead because it delivers with sources every time. But it's no big deal because you can just add a follow up prompt to ask for sources like so. But what if you're not doing academic research, but you're simply looking for a product that you want to buy and you want to just check out what people on Reddit are saying. And you can also do so with Perplexity AI. For me, for instance, maybe I'm looking for the best camera for content creators. And what I simply do is you select social media here or social, and it will go through Reddit or other discussions to find out what people are saying about that particular product or product type that you're looking for. And this saves you so much time going through lines and lines of discussions and gives you one answer right away. This will also work well if you're looking for a particular solution for daily life or your career. For example, I don't know about you, but whenever I have a problem that I need to solve, then I always go to Reddit or other forums to see if people have found a solution. Let's say my dishwasher is not draining properly, which can happen to all of us. And instead of going to Reddit and just go through threads after threads, you can simply go on perplexity and select social here and then type in your problem. And again, perplexity will work its magic to find a solution for me. Now, if you think this is all perplexity can do, then this next tip will save you even more time. You can ask it to summarize YouTube video or search on YouTube. When it comes to tutorial type of videos or you want to learn about different tools or any kind of educational video, you can simply ask perplexity to summarize and provide you some key insights. Here, for instance, I have a video by Hales World that talks about eight AI tools that you need to know. So if I don't have time to watch the whole video, then I can use Perplexity to just summarize it for me. 
and this is so much faster and I can have the list of AI tools right away. What you can also do is to ask it to provide you with a list of something you're looking for on YouTube. So me, for example, I watch all the time recipes on YouTube, you know, to find new ideas and so on. But if I have just like a specific criteria in mind, then I can just put it in perplexity and it will go through YouTube to look for me because it happens that sometimes I just watch a video and then there's nothing I'm looking for. And then I just wasted that 10 or 15 or whatever minutes watching that, that recipe video. But here, for instance, I would just give this prompt best vegetarian recipe in less than 20 minutes and then it will give me a list and if something interests me then i can just click it to watch that particular video okay so now we went through academic social and video but what you can also do is select the writing here and then use it to generate ideas or brainstorm but to be honest this is the one i used less because i find that it resembles what ChatGPT can do. But if you just want some quick answers without searching on the web or maybe help you with codes or creative writing, then you can definitely do so choosing this writing option. Now let's check out how it can help you solve some math problems. It is handy if you have some money or investment or some calculation problems or even help your children with their math homework. For example, here I asked it to solve this problem. If I invest money in ETF that provides a certain annual return, then how long it will take to double my money? Then it provides me with all this answer using the row of 72 with all the formula and all the answer. So I find it really handy as well. Now, if you find yourself having a lot of threads and it becomes a little bit disorganized, this collections feature is for you. With collections, you can organize and group your threads. So kind of like how we would use folders. And what's great about this is that you can give it an AI prompt here and it will affect every thread in this collection. For instance, here, if I have a gear research collections about my YouTube channel, like gears that I, maybe I want to invest in in the future, then I can give it some kind of prompt like this, like a concise bullet point format and I want the pros and cons and the price and customer reviews just anything that you wanted to apply to every thread in this collection okay so that was the basic things that you can do with perplexity and all of this for free but there are also some advanced features that you may want to know the first one here is pro search and you can activate this anytime. And when you do this, it will try to understand your question better and even just provide you some follow-up questions to understand it better. And when you compare to a regular search, it provides more detailed response and shows the keywords that used. But keep in mind though, with the free plan, you only have five pro search queries per day. Another thing that you might notice on the left-hand side here is the discover feature. So when you click on it, then you will see a few like news articles and you can go through them like just a few minutes per day to stay up to date. And here you can also see like different categories um, to see which one you may be more interested in. And I think this is a good way to just spend a few minutes per day to stay up to date to the news and the trends. Now that you understand the basic feature and nitty gritty of Perplexity AI, let's have a look at how you can practically apply it to your everyday tasks. So let's say now I'm a dietitian and I want to develop a program to help people lose weight after 50. And I want to write a short ebook about this. So there's a lot of like research tasks involved, of course. In this case, what I will use Perplexity for are the following steps. So step one, I may use it to find like some common questions my clients may have on Reddit. I asked it what are some pain points that people have when it comes to losing weight after 50. And it will go through Reddit to give me some answers. And this can provide me already some insights like, okay, what are my clients problems, right? And step two, I can use it to generate an outline for my ebook. So. I just simply provide this prompt, generate an ally for my ebook about women after 50 uh, who wants to lose weight. I can give the pain points I just found, provided more like insight and background knowledge. And now once I have the outline for my ebook, then I can go into detail about each point and I can use it to ask Perplexity AI to provide me with relevant data that I can 
write in this book so maybe i need some statistics or maybe i need some research about my book and it will just instantly give me all of that and step four maybe i have this pdf file that i find relevant but i don't have time to go through everything then i can just upload it and ask perplexity to like summarize it for me and then find out something that i can use for my ebook and this is also something you can do that i did not mention you can upload any pdf for it to summarize but just keep in mind that for a free plan you can only have three files upload per day and yes you might be wondering what is the pro plan pricing and is it worth it to upgrade to the pro plan so let me walk you through it here you have free plan then you have quick searches unlimited five pro searches per day and you have the standard model and then you can create a profile and for the pro plan it's twenty dollars per month and you have also quick searches 300 plus pro searches per day and what is different here is that you can choose your preferred model unlike the free plan it will only give you the standard perplexity ai model here you can even choose ChatGPT 4.0 or cloud 3 or any other models that you prefer and you can upload unlimited files and you can use it for image generation using these models here and you get five dollars per month in api credits so in my opinion it is only worth it to upgrade if you need the following if you need more than five pro searches per day and you'd have lots of pdf files that you need to upload or you want to use a specific ai model or you need image generation but to be honest other than that the free plan is more than enough perplexity ai also has its own chrome extension and mobile apps so you can download it and use them as you go this was everything I wanted to share with you in Perplexity AI. And if you haven't already, definitely give this a try because for me, for instance, I find myself really go back to Google anymore once I find how much time I can save using Perplexity AI. And if you have any questions how to use Perplexity or something like that, you can leave a comment down below to let me know and I will try to answer them. If this video helped you in any way, hit on the like button right now and hit on my face right now to subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. And finally, watch this video now to learn more about other AI tools. And I'll see you in the next video.